Manila, Philippines, a majority of Filipinos today come from populations that migrated to the archipelago some 6,000 years ago from mainland China and Taiwan. According to initial findings of a Spanish biologist who is studying the historical evolution of the genetic diversity of the Philippines, hey everyone, I want to take you on a little historical adventure right here to the heart of the Philippines. Well, grab your snacks and sit tight because you're about to see how our ancestry is literally thousands of years in the making. All right, let's rewind the clock to about years ago. Can you even imagine? Back then, life in what we now call Manila was pretty different. But guess what? The ancestors of most of us today were making a major move from mainland China and Taiwan. Crazy, right? Picture this. Groups of people, determined and adventurous, left everything behind in search of a new home. They traversed treacherous waters to reach the Philippines, an archipelago bursting with potential. But why did they come? Well, back then, the Philippines was a treasure trove of resources, rich lands, abundant seas, and yes, it was all just waiting to be explored. Fast forward to today, and look at us. We are a vibrant mix of cultures and traditions, all stemming from that bold migration. And speaking of culture, can we talk about how diverse our identity is? From our delicious food like adobo and lumpia, to our colorful festivals like Sinulog and Ati Atihan. Every tradition reflects a piece of our shared history. Whether it's Chinese New Year or our very own Flores de Mayo, you can see those influences everywhere. And trust me, it's all tied back to our roots. Now, you might be wondering, what does all this mean for us today? Well, it shapes how we connect and interact as a community. It's a reminder that no matter where we come from, we're all part of this big, beautiful tapestry called Filipino culture. Some have ancestors from the northern regions, others from the south. And yes, even a few with roots stretching back to those early migrations from China and Taiwan. Isn't that wild? It's like we are all living history books. Recent findings from a Spanish biologist studying the genetic diversity of the Philippines indicate that a significant majority of Filipinos descend from populations that migrated to the archipelago approximately six, zero, 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 zero years ago, primarily from mainland China and Taiwan. This research aligns with the prevailing out of Taiwan model, which suggests that the first Austronesian peoples reached the Philippines around 2200s BC, subsequently spreading throughout the islands and assimilating earlier inhabitants, including Negrito groups who had arrived much earlier. Historical migration patterns. 1. Early human presence. Evidence shows that modern humans were present in the Philippines at least 40,000 to 50,000 years ago, with some studies suggesting habitation as far back as 66,700 years ago. These early inhabitants likely included Negrito populations, areas of the archipelago. Austronesian migration. The Austronesians are believed to have migrated from Taiwan in multiple waves. The first wave occurred between and years ago, bringing ancestors of indigenous groups in the northern regions of the Philippines. Subsequent migrations introduced agriculture and new languages, leading to significant cultural and genetic changes among the population. Three. Genetic evidence, genetic studies have shown that Filipino populations share significant mitochondrial DNA, mtDNA lineages with Taiwanese aboriginal groups, indicating a common ancestry. These lineages are thought to have origins dating back to pre-Neolithic times. 3. And interactions with various groups across the region. Conclusion. The genetic landscape of the Philippines is shaped by a rich tapestry of migrations over thousands of years. The recent research underscores the importance of understanding these historical movements to appreciate the current genetic diversity among Filipinos. The integration of various ethnic groups over millennia has resulted in a unique cultural and genetic heritage that continues to evolve today. And let's not forget the language. Many words in Filipino come from our ancestors' languages. Some of our vernacular reflects a blend of Mandarin and Hokkien. So, the next time you're chatting with your tete or nane, just remember, you're connecting through generations. So, what's my takeaway here? Whether you're full-blooded Filipino or just part of the mix, we all share that same adventurous spirit of our ancestors. We've come a long way, guys, and let's keep that spirit alive. If you loved this history tour of our heritage, 
make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more adventures. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Let's keep exploring our history together. Drop a comment below about your ancestry or if you've ever traced your family roots. See you on the next adventure, everyone.